What happened to that hospital that night, 21st of March, was just about as unfortunate as it could have been because one of the German Gotha bombers dropped a bomb that landed in an ammunition carriage that was actually packed with ammunition and particularly with shells. So all of those shells exploded. Kate Maxey was working in a hospital ward at that time. She was standing right next to another nursing sister, Ellen Andrew, and the two of them were both blasted, peppered, if you like, with shrapnel. Ellen Andrew died pretty much immediately and Kate was hit by shrapnel in a number of different parts of her body, mostly all down the right hand side, so right side of her forehead, her neck, uh, her forearm and one of the bones in her arm was broken, um, her right thigh but also her left thigh and a nerve close to her spine on the right hand side was damaged and her right eardrum was burst. At that point, and soldiers often said this as well, you were just in shock and you weren't quite sure what had happened and you tried to carry on. And that's what she did. She tried to look after her colleague who was dying. But once she realised that um, Sister Andrew was dead, she then turned you know, to try and help others who'd been injured by that blast and to continue to look after her patients. Others could see how badly injured she was, so she was persuaded, her colleagues, the orderlies and the other nurses, persuaded her to lie down on a stretcher bed. Uh, but she still continued to run the ward from her bed, so she was still giving orders to the sisters and to the orderlies um, for hours after she had been injured. Because she was so courageous and she was so self sacrificing really and was putting the others, the patients and the staff, before herself, she was awarded the military medal and her citation said that she tried to help others even when she was probably one of the most severely wounded in the ward that night. The events of the 21st of March 1918 brought Kate Maxey's war to an end. After weeks in hospital in London, she then recuperated at her sister's home in Spennymoor. Whilst there, an event was held at St Andrew's Mission Hall in her honour. The Spennymoor Ambulance Association presenting her with gifts to mark the occasion. Kate petitioned to return to the front to continue her work. This was declined, the authorities saying that after continuous service from October 1914 to spring 1918, she had done enough. <laughs>